Hello everyone, welcome back to another c -Sharp tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be an interview question again. Um, we're just going to basically be going over an interview question that you might see if uh, you ever try and interview some sort of job or internship uh, similar to what I'm doing soon. Um, basically I'm going to just walk through the problem and talk about my thought process, which is exactly what you might want to do uh, in the event that you have to write on the whiteboard or on a piece of paper or program it uh, in front of your interviewer. You really want to talk about it while you're doing it. So anyway, the problem that we're going to be going over today is just simply reversing a string. Um, now this is probably one of the most basic problems you could go over, but um, a lot of people get stuck up on it, especially if the um, interviewer throws a little curveball to you at the end, which I'll, I'll probably go over. But anyway, uh, the easiest way to do this in code is we're just going to go ahead and create a method here. Um, let's go ahead and, um, this is basically going to return the reverse of a, a string that we have. Now let's go ahead and create a string. Now of course, um, C sharp has its built-in reverse function, but we're not going to use that um, because the whole idea of behind this is that you want to um, be able to do this on your own without using any sort of built-in C sharp things to a certain limit. So we're just going to go ahead and add a right line here, a reverse string, just so once we finish working on this, it'll be all good. Now the main idea behind um, the string reversal is that you basically want to switch these two characters, just basically swap them until you get to the middle. And by doing that, you'd have, you'll effectively have reversed the string. So what we're going to need is we're going to need all the characters of the string. Now I'm kind of cheating a little bit using this, but um, I believe in C Sharp that you can also index strings, but I just like using characters because it makes a little bit more sense. And then since we're going to be going both ways, and we're going to be accessing two different indices of this character array, we're going to be need two incrementers. Uh, let's go ahead and have our um, this one, uh, our j incrementer is going to start from the very last one, which would be this exclamation point. <clears throat> and then we're going to have a for loop, which is just going to be uh, start from zero, which will start from the beginning. Now, m most people would go ahead and put um, i less than cares dot length here, but if you think about it, if you do that, that means you're going to be that means you're going to be progressing throughout this entire string length, which is not what you're going to want to do. If you end up doing that, you're pretty much going to return the same string. You only want to go halfway between the string because remember you're swapping the first and the last, swapping first and last, so you um, obviously meet in the middle here, which is why you only want to do half. Make sure you increment this. So in this one, of course, we're looping through to basically probably around here or so for this for loop. Make sure we decrement j there. And now comes the reversal, which is pretty simple. We just go ahead and do care so i equals cares j. And then, of course, um, because we're setting this one equal to this one, we want to store this cares i somewhere, so we're going to have to create a temp variable. And the reason we create this temp variable is so that we can set cares j equal to that temp. And that's basically a pretty simple swap right there, which you definitely should know how to do. Um, you just create a temporary variable and you swap them. Um, that's used for tons and tons of different things, sorting mostly, uh, reversing also. So now it looks like we have everything done. Uh, all I have to do is just return cares to two string. Hopefully this will work out for us. Let's go ahead and run this. System cares. Looks like I messed up um, my two string. I'm guessing. Not entirely sure what. This returns, cares, um, hmm, not really sure um, how you convert. Let's go ahead and try and do new string cares. Let's see if this will work. There we go. 
just had a not really sure on the syntax in this but anyway that ended up working out correctly quackware is awesome of course this this thing you won't really have to worry about it's really this part that you really uh, want to understand this algorithm here so anyway we pretty much reversed the the entire string but uh, so let's say that uh, the interviewer also wants you to not only reverse this entire thing maybe they want you to just say awesome is quackware or something like that so now if you're given that problem right off the bat you might be a little bit confused but after you do this and they throw that in there all you have to think about is that um, once you've reversed this quackware here all you have to do is just reverse it again right here here and here to get it back to its original form now um, let's go ahead and just create some temporary variable where we've reversed our string and then let's go ahead and create a for each loop because we want to be able to split these strings based on the space so string s in reverse dot split and we're splitting by space now the interview might not might not let you use this uh, this all this string manipulation you may have to actually count it out to the space in order to get the individual strings but I'm just doing it for brevity's sake here and then let's go have, have another string here and then temp and then I'm pretty sure you can just append strings here so temp plus equals reverse s and let's see you may have to add spaces in here too based on what um, we have but let's go ahead and try printing this out now quackware is awesome yeah and uh, we're gonna have to add some spaces in there plus there we go let's see how that looks awesome is quackware cool looks like it worked hooray so uh, that's basically a two-part problem there uh, and it shows you how when you're kinda given something that might sound a little bit confusing at first if you just break it down and um, really understand the core fundamentals of reversing and temporary variables and swapping and things you can really uh, solve the problem pretty easily so anyway that's it for this uh, this tutorial uh, if you have any more questions make sure to leave a comment um, subscribe you guys are awesome uh, and that's it for this video it's quicker signing out